Hey everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to build a Bluetooth Low Energy Proximity Detector using this Fire Beetle ESP board. So the idea here is to trigger some event whenever a Bluetooth device gets within a certain range of the board. In this case, the event is to turn on this blue LED whenever this PuckJS gets within a certain range. But you could change that to do anything, maybe logging the event somewhere, playing a sound, turning your lights on and off, sending a text message, you get the idea. And in this case, I have it set up not to discriminate between different devices, so I can trigger the LED using this VR controller. But the code can be modified to do different things in response to different devices. You can also change the distance cutoff too. In this case, I have it set up to respond when the device is really close. But you can change that cutoff or even have different responses to different distances. So let's hop over to the Arduino IDE and take a look at the source code. So the code for this is really simple. First, we just import some of the headers that are required for the Bluetooth device. Oh, I guess I should preface this by saying I already have the ESP32 packages installed on my Arduino IDE. You'll need to do that first. I'm not going to bother going over that here because it's been covered elsewhere. I will leave a link in the description though. And once you have that, it'll actually give you the option for the Fire Beetle ESP32 board. And then you can just select which port you have it plugged into. And that'll also install all of your libraries. So now we have access to these Bluetooth libraries. Next I'm defining some constants. So this pin constant is going to be the digital I.O. pin for the LED. And on the Fire Beetle board, that's going to be pin 2. And this cutoff is going to be the cutoff point for the signal strength for deciding whether or not to turn the LED on and off. And I'll show that here in a minute. So then in our setup function, we're just going to set this pin mode for pin 2 to be an output pin. That way we can turn it on and off using digital write. And then we're initializing the Bluetooth device. This parameter here is an empty string. Normally you would put in the name of the Bluetooth device that you would want to advertise. But in this case, we're not advertising the device. We're just using this to scan for other devices. So the name isn't important. Next, we get to our loop here. And this is where all of the real work happens. So the first thing we do is we get a scan object from our Bluetooth device. And this is a pointer to this BLE scan structure. And then I'm calling this set active scan method and passing in the parameter true. And what this is going to do is it's going to set this scan to be in an active mode instead of a passive mode, which is a little bit more accurate and a little bit faster. If you use passive mode, which is the default, it uses a lot less power, but I'm more concerned about accuracy here than power. Next we call the start method on the scan, and we're passing in the parameter 1, which is telling it that it's going to scan for one second, and then assigning the results there to this variable named results, which is of type BLE scan results. Now I'm creating a variable which is an integer named best, and it's going to store the best signal strength so far in the scan. So there might be multiple devices that are giving us results, and we want to use whatever the best signal strength out of those devices is to decide whether or not to turn the LED on. So I'm initializing it to the cutoff, because if we don't find any devices, then it'll be the cutoff value, and we'll know not to turn the LED on. So here I'm just looping over all of the results. There's a method called get count, which returns the number of results. And for each one of those, we'll call this get device method on the results, passing in whichever index it is. And we'll assign that to this device variable. Next, we're calling this get rssi method on the device, which is going to return the signal strength. Now, the signal strength is going to be a negative number. And the closer it is to zero, the stronger the signal is. The further it is from zero, sorry, the further it is into the negative numbers, the worse the signal is. Then we just compare this device's RSSI value to the best one that we found. And if it's better than the best one that we found, if it's greater, closer to zero, then we assign best to be this device's RSSI. So this entire loop just finds an RSSI value 
which is the closest to zero out of any of the devices that were found in the scan. And if that best RSSI value happens to be greater than that cutoff that we defined as a constant, we'll turn the LED on. Otherwise, we'll leave the LED off or turn it off if it was on. And that's it. Now we have a Bluetooth proximity sensor. If you end up doing something cool with this idea, let me know in the comments below. But until next time, bye!